Hi, guys my name is Ariba. Welcome back to my YouTube channel Ariba News HD. I hope you are doing well. Before watch this video please subscribe to my YouTube channel and press bell icon for latest video. So, let's start the video. Sebastian Haller fires Ivory Coast into Africa Cup final against Nigeria. Kalechi Ihanacho scored the winning penalty as Nigeria booked their place in the final of the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations with a 4-2 shootout win over South Africa. The game in Buaki finished 1-1 following a remarkable end to normal time which involved the referee going to his video monitor to disallow a Victor Osimhen strike which would have put Nigeria 2-0 up, and instead awarding a penalty to South Africa. Thibaut Makwena converted from the spot in the 90th minute to send the game into a goalless period of extra time where Bafana Bafana defender Grant Kakana was sent off late on. But Makwena was one of two South African players to see their spot kicks saved by goalkeeper Stanley Nuabali as the Super Eagles triumphed to reach Sunday's final, where they will play Ivory Coast after the hosts beat DR Congo. William Trusta Kong had opened the scoring for the West Africans with a penalty midway through the second half, and will now be looking to captain Nigeria to their fourth continental title, and a first since 2013. Super Eagles overcome South Africa again. Nigeria went into the game with a perfect Nations Cup record against South Africa, having beaten Bafana Bafana in all three of their previous meetings in the competition including a semi-final meeting in 2000 in Lagos. But despite being urged on by the cacophonous horn section carried by the supporters in green and white, Jose Pesero's side failed to live up their billing as favorites in a ponderous first half which South Africa largely bossed. Forward Percy Tao had their best chance, scuffing his shot straight at Nuabali when unmarked inside the penalty area. Nigeria's lack of potency was reflected in the statistics with African Footballer of the Year Osimhen only managing nine touches in the half, including a header which went wide just before the break. But things then livened up notably as Nigeria came out with greater intent in the second half. Osimhen put one of several presentable headed opportunities over the bar before Frank Onyeka blazed wastefully wide. The Super Eagles finally broke the deadlock in the 67th minute when Osimhen's driving run was abruptly ended inside the penalty area by a poor challenge from defender Matobi Mbala. As in the group stage win against Ivory Coast, it was captain Trusta Kong who assumed penalty duties rather than Osimhen. And the former Watford defender sent his effort down the middle and under the legs of Ronwin Williams, the shootout hero for South Africa in the quarterfinal win over Cape Verde as the goalkeeper dived to his left. After evidence Makopa had fizzed a skimming effort just wide for South Africa, Adamola Lukman should have won it for Nigeria but hesitated when trying to round Williams, allowing the keeper to dive at his feet and gather the ball. Late VAR drama denies Osimhen. With just five minutes of normal time remaining, Osimhen thought he had clinched victory turning home bright Osai Samuel's low cross following a swift counterattack and sprinting towards the Nigeria fans for a celebration that was short-lived. South Africa's players were already protesting before referee Amin Omar was advised to go to the monitor by the video assistant referee, with the Egyptian quickly ruling out Osimhen's strike and, in yet another late twist at this remarkable tournament, pointing to the spot at the other end for an earlier foul on Tao by Al Hassan Youssef. Makwena kept his calm to convert the penalty and deny Nigeria five consecutive clean sheets, and South Africa should have won it in the six minutes of added time when Kuliso Mudo only succeeded in blazing over after Nuabali parried Makwena's free kick into his path. Williams saved efforts from Lukman and Osimhen early in extra time but the best opening came when Terem Mofi latched on to a through ball and ran powerfully towards the South Africa goal. But Kakana stopped the substitute's run with a trip and, following a VAR review, was shown a straight red card and Nigeria were awarded a free kick just outside the area. Ihanacho drew a save from Williams from the set piece but decided the shootout after Nuabali had saved from Makwena and Makopa, with the Bafana Bafana captain unable to repeat his heroics from the last eight.